What I'm about to explain and answer today can be a little bit tricky to understand, but I think I have simplified it enough to make it really easy to understand just like the rest of my videos. I'm sure you heard of some controversial statements like Einstein ruined physics or physics has become so confusing after Einstein. The subject of mass is often cited when such a proposition is made. Confusion about the term mass has caused so much trouble including physics Nazis in my comment section on the video the difference between mass and weight. If E equals mc squared, that means there is an equivalence or a relationship between mass and energy. So the question becomes how can light have no mass but at the same time have energy if the two are related? I think I have just proved Einstein wrong. Hand me my Nobel Prize. I am the new physics god. Of course it is not that simple. If you are new to the channel, hi, I make physics and my own philosophy videos. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of that again. So let's get into it. Light has energy but no mass. How is that possible if there is a mass energy equivalence in E equals mc squared? To solve this, we'll talk about two things, mass and energy. Let's talk about energy real quick and then we go into mass. What I want you to keep in mind is that the total energy is equal to the rest energy, which is the energy of an object due to its rest mass when it's just at rest, plus the momentum energy, which is due to its movement. Keep that briefly in mind, we'll get back to that in a second. Now let's talk about mass here. With general relativity, the word mass can mean two things, rest mass and also relativistic mass. When we say light has no mass, we mean rest mass, but it has the other form, which is relativistic mass. Now, rest mass is the mass of an object when it is at rest. And the reason light doesn't have it is that light cannot be at rest. If light exists, it moves at the speed of light. Since it cannot be at rest, it will have no rest mass, which is zero. And that's why we say light has no mass. Now, relativistic mass is the mass of a particle when it is moving. If an object is moving, it has energy due to its movement, and that energy will contribute to its total mass, with E equals mc squared. I explained this in my video, why can't anything move faster than light? Make sure to watch that too. Isn't relativistic mass still mass? How can we say light has no mass when it has a type of mass that contributes to its total energy? The answer is found when we talk about energy. Let's go back to what we said earlier. Pay attention to this formula. The total energy is rest energy, which is the energy of an object due to its rest mass, which light doesn't have, plus momentum energy, which is due to movement. The equation looks like this. M would be the mass, and the P would be the momentum. The rest energy for light is zero because it has no rest mass, but the momentum energy does not depend on rest mass. Light gets its energy from its momentum and not from its mass, and that's why it can have the energy but not the mass. Now, you may say that momentum also depends on mass. Yes, for a particle in classical physics, momentum is dependent on mass in the relation momentum equals to mass times velocity. However, it is possible to have momentum without mass when we are talking about waves, which light is. The momentum as a wave is not related to the mass. It is equal to E over C. That is a momentum. And the energy can be calculated from the Planck-Einstein equation, E equals H times F, which is the frequency multiplied by Planck's constant. And that is how light has energy but no mass. Let us recap really quickly. Total energy is rest energy, which depends on rest mass, plus the momentum energy. Light doesn't have rest mass, so this one is zero, but it does have momentum that can be calculated without the mass, and that is where it gets the energy from. I encourage you to research the idea of relativistic mass, because it is a subject of debate in modern physics. Watch the video again if you need to, and comment below if you have any questions. I might make a supplement video that is a follow-up on this. I hope this makes it clear, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Make sure to subscribe to the channel.